got visitors? Who's coming to the Wildlands? So it was about a week where we didn't actually film anything because we were so depressed. Uh, don't really want to have to be leaving the Wildlands, do we? No. So anything we can do to stay. So what exactly are we going to do? I mean, we sort of, we were talking out loud in our last video, weren't we? Where we were sort of coming up with the different options, Ireland, Bulgaria, back to van life and so on. Honey? Yeah? What do you want me to do then? Uh, I need you to take off the top panel over there. Oh, you find a laugh uh, yeah, or a laugh track. Like a clap track. <laughs> find out in a minute what Digger Dave has done that's going to help us hopefully with our water going forward so it's not all negative. Hello, welcome back to the Wildlands. In tonight's episode you can meet Digger Dave. Find out what he's doing on our land. And I finish my electrics finally with help from a very special guest. And also an update on our visa situation. So enjoy the episode. In July 2021, with the increase in travel restrictions caused by Brexit and the pandemic, we decided to buy off-grid land in Portugal to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Follow along with our journey as we turn our beautiful but derelict land into our very own slice of off-grid heaven. Wildlands. So to start off with Visa, firstly um, had hundreds and hundreds of comments which I just wanted to thank you for. Lots of lovely comments as well, wishing us well and hoping that we get a result that is positive. Loads of people offering advice as well and so much of it has been really helpful. Stuff that we hadn't considered or just had never, nobody brought it to our attention. People suggesting particular um, lawyers that we should go to and use or different routes that we could try if this visa is declined. So that's really helpful, really positive because uh, don't really want to have to be leaving the wildlands, do we? No. So anything we can do to stay, that's great. So thank you for all of that. So what exactly are we going to do? I mean, we sort of, we were talking out loud in our last video, weren't we? Where we were sort of coming up with the different options, Ireland, Bulgaria, back to van life and so on. I think probably in reality, we've got uh, the final appeal that can go into the Minister of Foreign Affairs. That's going to go in next week. We still have a, they call it a complaint, but it's basically another type of appeal that's in with the Portuguese consulate in London at the moment, which we're waiting for an answer on so we can still cross our fingers that it's positive. And then after that, we've got the 60 days maximum window from the Minister of Foreign Affairs to hear for our appeal. And then we're at the point where if we don't have a visa, we have to leave the wildlands and look at our future. But we are, have a number of other options, don't we? We've decided, I think, that we'll probably go to litigation. Yep. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Because as Missy said a minute ago, I think it's the realisation we don't want to leave the wildlands, do we? No, none of the other options, we're having mulled it a little bit more. Yeah, we'd still have to travel and visit the other countries if they were possibilities. We def definitely couldn't stay here, um, but really Portugal's the one for us. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens with the complaint. We'll wait and see what happens with the appeal. So this is probably the last time we're going to touch on the visa until... We either hear back from the Minister of yeah. Foreign Affairs or his 60 days elapses and then we're on to what we're going to do next. So basically this has all taken place in the last two weeks. Uh, so there was about a week where we didn't actually film anything because we were so depressed. So the first video that came out about the visa, which was a week ago, was actually filmed a week after we had the news really. We're still pretty depressed, aren't we? Yep. Um, but I think we've kind of gone on the mindset that... Um, other than being proactive and trying to appeal and trying to look at alternative ways of getting a visa granted for Portugal, the reality is that there's not a lot within our control other than being proactive. So if we don't get the visa, that, that's life, isn't it? Sometimes you get that card, maybe something better will come along, but we want to just get on and be positive. So if we assume we get the visa, we need to be working on the wildlands, the weather's cooler, we have water in the well, which is amazing. So yeah. that means we can get back to seeds. We'll find out in a minute what Digger Dave has done that's gonna help us hopefully with our water going forward. So it's not all negative. No, so. no, we, we just carry on. It's either that or sit in our chairs in a pit of despair for 60 days yep. and that just seems daft, doesn't it? Yep. So we're cracking on, we're smiling, the sun's shining, it's great. Yep. <laughs> 
So, as we've decided to aim to being positive and cracking on, uh, we have a special guest. Oh, we got visitors. Who's coming to the Wildlands? I recognise that number plate. I'm seeing you for ages. <laughs> Good to see you. You all right? Yeah, park yourself up. We'll all get right. a beer out. Sounds like a plan. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. Honey? Yeah? What do you want me to do then? Uh, I need you to take off the top panel over there over with there. all the um, USB things on yeah. and then cut two holes and one of them is for the Victron battery monitor and the other one's for the MPPT monitor. We've got a circle and a rectangle. You want which one top or bottom? They're or there on the corner. And you don't mind how they... I don't mind. I think you wanted to put the rectangle one on the bottom because it's got a lead coming out of it whereas the Victron the lead comes through the back of it. Oh, it as you like. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you've got another helper today, haven't you? Oh, I've got a helper today, yes. It's me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello! And this is the bit like in Happy Days, do you remember? When they had a guest and everyone would clap. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can find a laugh at, yeah. not a laugh track. Like a, a clap track. a pretty big hole so far. So we've got the two Shawlar panels, 600 watts of solar coming to the wildlands, hopefully in the morning. All we're doing with these individual panels is we're wiring them in series. So the positive to the negative, positive to the negative and then that adds the voltage together but keeps the amps the same and then these two strings will then wire in parallel because the MPPT can only take a maximum of 72 volts and with these wired in series this set is 60 volts that set 60 volts but this will be 5 amps that will be 5 amps when we wire them in parallel it will still be 60 volts but it will be 10 amps going into the MPPT negative connection is female so we want one of the male we want this one and this one and it has some cable on the end of it, I think it's 16 mil squared, and it's just attached with a couple of nuts. And I'm going to bash it into the ground, boom, and that's going to be the earth for our inverter. Action! We men, start fire! So this is the first time this season we've had the Opti out, which uh, you may remember we tried out last spring. We absolutely loved it. What are you making, Missy? I'm prepping bird toppings, mm. so I'm just slicing up some gherkins and getting some jalapenos out. Then on here, we have fixings to go in the potato salad. The potatoes are jalapenos. Left, we've got the vegan. Yeah. And on the right, we've got the non vegan. <laughs>
done with the electrics. Everything is wired together, all of the breakers are off, the solar panels are out in the sun. What's next? Yeah, we've made sure that all the connections are tight. Um, we've just plugged in the BMV meter. So like you say, it's just a case of flicking on the little breakers inside. We need to turn the batteries on first. Yep. So that the MPPT controller comes on and then we'll turn the solar on. Last. And then, yeah. That's see it. what happens. Oh, do you want me to flick? Can you go on? See, go the, on. see the meters come on? <laughs> so first of all, we need to turn the battery on, which is this breaker. That's it. Oh, they're on. Oh, go. look at that. <laughs> and then secondly, once that's okay, we then turn the solar panels on. And then it'll take a few moments for the charge controller to register, but now you can see we've got a flashing red light, which means we're getting solar coming in. Okay, so the remote meter's saying 13.2 volts, battery voltage. We're getting 55 volts off the solar panels. They're saying that the battery's 100%, but the batteries are fairly new, so that's to be expected. And we're currently only getting about 40 watts off the panels, but I suspect one of the panels is now in the shade because <laughs> there's quite a few trees around, but yeah. It's all working fine. And we can see a little row of dots feeding into the batteries, which is the solar coming in. All good. We're not getting much sun on them, are we? Sunshine. Yeah, that'll make the world a difference, that yeah. will. Yeah. give you a little brief rundown of what we've got going on in the cupboard. We have three 150 amp hour batteries, AGM, and they are connected in parallel. So that means positive to positive, negative to negative at the back. On the end battery, I have a temperature sensor, which goes to the Victron battery monitor. Up here on the side, we have a 2000 watt inverter so that we can make 230 volt electricity to run the laptops and so on. Uh, the little cable on the side goes to an earth bar. And then there's another cable connected to that, which goes through the side of the kitchen uh, out the other side and is connected with a couple of nuts onto a piece of rebar that's been bashed about a foot into the ground. So that's our earth. Uh, at the back here, this is a positive bus bar and a negative bus bar, which everything connects to so that we only have one feed going to the positive battery, and one going to the negative on the other end of the battery bank. Up at the top, we have a little fuse box and that just has um, half a dozen things going to our USB sockets, 12 volt sockets, and a couple of spotlights that you saw us put in on the kitchen. And then here you just have um, breakers. So there's a breaker for the fuse box, one for the inverter, one for the MPPT, and this one, which goes to the solar panels. So should we ever need to do anything inside this one? If we ever need to do anything inside this cupboard, we turn the solar panels off first, uh, and then we can mess around with it or turn the whole rest of the system off and and then the mppt which controls the uh, the solar charge from the solar panels and that's it it's a really really simple system uh, which took me far too long to put together and i couldn't have finished it off without help from greg so thanks greg so what a roller coaster episode visas friends arriving big holes barbecues <laughs> big big holes dave mate that's a big hole, isn't it? So thanks very much to Dave for coming over on his digger. And thanks again to Greg for helping me with my electrics. Much appreciated. Yeah. And I'm so thrilled that they're finished. It's making a huge difference to us all already. So that was really fab. And what's really exciting is Greg and Lou have decided to stay on a few extra days yeah. so that they can help us with the roof above the kitchen. Yeah. Which we're going to start tomorrow and that'll be the next video, so that's really exciting. It is, it'd be so nice not to have to keep putting a tarp over the kitchen yeah. every time it might rain. <laughs> and there's been an amount of rain recently.
much for watching. And do give us a like or a dislike and a subscribe. Um, if you haven't already. If you haven't already. And do leave us a comment because it really does cheers, cheers us up, doesn't it, in these times of visa depression. <laughs> But now that we're back on form, let us know what you think of our solar system, which I think is epic. I think so. And let us know if you think Digger Dave's hole was big enough. <laughs> <laughs> he said he can come back and make he it a bit bigger. He said he can make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll see, see you next, next week. week. Bye. Ciao.